today we're gonna do something new. Well, new to me anyway. Well, it's actually it's not new because I just haven't done these this kind of a video before. Today we're gonna show you guys what a typical lunch is, lunch and dinner, or actually breakfast and lunch is for me. Right. Uh, it could be either or breakfast and lunch, or lunch and dinner, or breakfast and dinner, or dinner and lunch, or lunch and breakfast, or you know, anywhere you get me. But anyways, right? Um, you guys remember that old uh, Rachel Ray did that TV show on forty dollars a day? You know, over there in Europe on vacation. Right. Well, <laughs> this is this is ten dollars or less <laughs> here in America. Lunch, lunch and dinner. Right. Anyway, um. So let's get it going. Uh, what I got here is I, you know, just the total here. This cost me a total of seven dollars and sixty-two cents, right? Uh, cost me a total of seven dollars and sixty-two cents here. Uh, I saved fifty-eight per fifty-eight cents on my um, club card on the roast beef because the normal price would have been two dollars and ninety cents, right, for the quarter pound. But I got fifty-eight cents off, so it was two dollars and thirty-two cents. The horseradish cheese was a dollar three. See, the regular price is $2.90, but I got it for uh, $2.32, right? and that's a quarter pound right there. Um, the horseradish cheese is $1.03, and that's for three slices, I believe. The banana was $0.22, cents, $0.59 cents a pound. The avocado, unfortunately, is the spurge here, right? Um, and it's kind of stupid since they grow, since they grow them like not 10 miles from here out in the hot houses. Don't ask me why. Right, but the avocado was a dollar sixty-seven for one, and then the fanta soda was regular price dollar seventy-nine. Safeway, that's a safeway price. In the bag, it's two Kaiser rolls, which are fifty-nine cents a piece. So, see, it's a grand total of seven dollars sixty-two cents for all of this stuff. The smart martyr was something that I had already. So, since I got two Kaiser rolls, a quarter pound, you know, roast beef, and two slabs of cheese, obviously you guys are going to see that this is. I'm going to eat two times with this. The banana, I'm going to eat right either right now with the sandwich or the avocado. I haven't yet decided yet. We haven't gotten there, right? But either or, the either one of these two is going to be the, the next part of the next sandwich in about three or four or five hours. I don't know yet, right? So, now, yeah, I, I get it. This is kind of an expensive little lunch, and it is a little spurgy, but uh, I've been doing vegetarian stuff and or vegan stuff here for about the last week and my body, you know, to help cleanse my body out and do all that stuff. You know, remember I am old, 58, and I do, you know, I do ride 27 a lot all over the place, so I get a lot of exercise in, so I need, every once in a while, I need an injection of bread, meat, protein. I do. Now, I, I, I understand vegans and I understand vegetarians and I know that they get their protein from plant-based stuff. Vegetarians, lactose, you know, lacto vegetarians, I think it's lacto, right? They, um, ovo lacto vegetarians eat both dairy and eggs. I think lacto vegetarians only eat dairy, and they, they get their source of protein from that. Well, I, I, I'm a meat eater. I've been a meat eater my whole life. I probably will die eating a piece of steak. I don't know yet. I haven't gotten there, but, um, yeah, I, I tend to, you know, to do the vegetarian slash vegan thing a couple or two, three times a week. I do, because I, I, I don't mind it. I like it. Some of their food is really good. Uh, I've, you know, basically been, you know, part-time vegetarian most of my life anyway. Um, right? So, hey, this is me. So, we're, I'm going to grub down a sandwich right now, right? And we're going to rip from there. All right? Let's sit down, make our sandwich, and have lunch. Once I get it all back together, I'll turn it back on. Let you guys see what I got. Hold on. Yeah, I got another friend. <laughs> Anyways, they come and visit me all the time. Anyways, uh, I got involved. Now, I don't, you know, I occasionally I don't put any mayonnaise or mustard or hot sauce or any of that stuff. But you know, hey. It goes good with this stuff, but I'm not looking for the fat. I'm looking for the protein here, because I'm getting enough fat from the cheese, right? Or, or if I eat that, I'm going to get enough fat from that, right? Uh, I'm saying. So uh, yeah, there's somebody up there on the bridge yelling and hollering about something, somebody being a jackass or something. I don't know. But anyways, I chose the cheese casserole. Right, because I asked the lady at the bakery at Safeway which ones were the best, and she said that these ones were the fresh, last, 
but the last ones that came out of the oven, so they're the freshest. So I got a cheese casserole, a slice and a half of roast beef, and one piece of horseradish cheese. Now see, see how these are One piece of horseradish cheese, a slice and a half of roast beef for the next casserole, right for the next time I eat in a couple more months, a couple more hours, months, <laughs> hours. But anyways, this is me. This is me, Brian. All right? You know what I'm saying? $10 a day or less, right? How do you eat? You can out here in the streets. When you got nothing else, this is all you got. You know what I'm Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm saying. I ain't said that in a minute, have I? Thank you.